Former jockey David Mullins. Uh, David, you had the privilege of winning golf's test this chase on Champagne West for Henry de Bromhead a few years ago. Yeah, um, great day. Um, I've always had a lot of uh, a lot of enjoyment down here, getting the half day off of school and now living in Gorn as well. It's, uh, it's a massive day and as soon as Christmas is over, everyone's talking about it and they're normally talking about it for the month after as well. And what did it mean for you? You only were brought up five minutes away from Gorn Park. What did it mean to you, as you say, you've been coming here since you were a baby, to win a Goffs Tie Estes chase? That was a bit special. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, all the grade one winners that might might mean a lot to other people, but the Tie Estes is as high up as it gets for me as a rider, or, or even the likes of Danny Emmett, Patrick, you know, it's, it's a race they'd want to win as well, as highly as any grade one. And, you know, it's, it's a day everyone remembers around here from getting the days off of school and, um, you know, just all the winners through the years, great horses winning it and going on to follow them to bigger and better things as well. Can you remember much about the race for Champagne West that day? Um, yeah, he bounced out, made the running and he was never caught. Um, it was a great winner for Henry as well. He'd be a local trainer kind of as well. I know he's Waterford, but um, he uh, he targets a lot of horses here and a lot of his good horses with size in Europe. So everyone kind of felt it was a local winner and it was a great day out. And a massive reception coming back in, but for a local lad it must have meant just that little bit more. That's oh, brilliant, you're seeing the same faces you used to go to school with and um, you know you know everyone in the crowd, it's not often you can say that, but I could anyway when I, when I won it. And for the viewers at home now, obviously they remember you winning an English National as well, you're retired a couple of years now, what are you doing? I'm just trying to trade a few horses at the minute, I've uh, done a bit of travelling as well during the summer and um, trying to keep my options open for the time being. Don't want to jump into anything yet straight away. And you bought a few horses that have gone on and done well in America as well. Yeah, um, a few horses have done well that we bought. So um, we kind of kind of went in a bit stronger this year, and hopefully, hopefully it works out. <laughs> Great stuff.